Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, that depends if you had eggs for breakfast and chicken for lunch, or if you're having chicken for lunch and then eggs for dinner. And don't forget, obviously, that it's easier for women to get frisky with an egg and for men to get frisky with a chicken. So which one comes first is really anyone's guess. And the same is true of both compression and EQ. That doesn't really make any sense at all, does it? No. Uh, <laughs> you're right. No. Okay. EQ before you compress, and particularly when boosting, the following compression compression snimmon EQ. <laughs> I'm dying. That's so funny. EQ before you compress, and particularly when boosting, the following compression will undo a little of your EQ move. EQ after you compress, and your EQ will remain intact. And each has their own sound, and there are no rules, so try both. But generally, my preference is to compress before EQ if I'm cutting or doing some kind of surgical EQ to notch out an undesirable artifact, as I don't want the following compression to bring that back up. And to compress after I EQ, only if I want that rock vibe EQ into compression sound. So to clarify that, generally I'll compress first if I'm cutting and EQ first if I'm boosting. But try both and then have some eggs, unless you're vegan. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs>